Hi, in this video we will see about uh, statement and proof of uh, Lamy's theorem. Initially we will see the statement. So before that uh, let me write the four system uh, to understand the statement of the Lamy's theorem. Let us consider uh, three forces. Three forces. Three forces acting at a point okay acting at a point let me call this as force f1 force f2 and force f3 okay let me take uh, take the angles as uh, alpha okay means opposite to the the force f1 the opposite angle to the force f1 is alpha opposite angle to the force f2 as beta and opposite angle to the force f3 as gamma gamma okay now let us see the statement of the lamis theorem the lamis theorem states that if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium then each force is directly proportional to sine of angle between the other two forces that is what the statement of the Lamy's theorem okay i repeat if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium then each force is directly proportional to sine of angle between the other two forces okay as per Lamy's theorem we can write it as f1 by if i take the force f1 the sine of angle between other two forces means sine alpha sine alpha is equal to f2 divided by the angle between the other two forces the angle between f1 and f3 is beta sin beta sin beta is equal to f3 divided by sin gamma okay this is what the statement of the lamis theorem let me write the same thing say statement statement okay so if three forces if three forces acting at a point acting at a point are in equilibrium equilibrium then each force each force is directly proportional to proportional to sine of angle between angle between the other two other two forces this is the statement of the Lamy's theorem. Okay. Now let us prove this Lamy's theorem. To prove the Lamy's theorem, what I will do is I will consider a rigid body. Is assume that there is a small rigid body. There is small rigid body. For that, I will apply a force of magnitude f f1. Okay. okay. With the same magnitude and direction, I will apply the force f1. I will apply the force f1 now assume that that small rigid body has changed its position somewhere here somewhere here now i will apply the force f2 with the same magnitude and the direction let me write somewhat below the figure so consider a small rigid body apply the force f1 with same magnitude and direction as in that the rigid body has changed the position to here okay now apply the force f2 with the same magnitude and the direction force f2 with the same magnitude and the direction now as in that the rigid body has changed the position somewhere here now apply the force f3 with the 
same magnitude and the direction means vertically downward direction vertically downward direction force f3 okay force f3 now what is the angle between force f1 and f3 force f1 and f3 is beta angle is beta angle between force f1 and f2 here it will be f2 f2 and here it will be f3 angle between force f1 and f2 is what angle between force f1 and f2 is gamma so angle is gamma now angle between force f2 and f3 is alpha so here angle is alpha okay now what will be this internal angle means overall angle is 180 180 minus beta okay 180 minus beta here the angle will be 180 minus gamma here angle will be 180 minus alpha 180 minus alpha okay now for this we will apply sine rule for this triangle now which is formed by all the forces we will just apply the sine rule now applying sine rule applying sine rule we will consider force f1 first so force f1 here f1 divided by opposite angle is 180 minus alpha f1 divided by sine of 180 minus alpha f1 divided by sine 180 minus alpha is equal to force f2 for f2 force opposite angle is 180 minus beta f2 divided by sine 180 minus beta is equal to force f3 f3 divided by sine of 180 minus gamma f3 divided by sin 180 minus gamma okay now we have applied the sine rule now we know that sin of 180 minus theta is sin theta therefore sin of 180 minus alpha is sin alpha sin of 180 minus beta is sin beta and sin of 180 minus gamma is sin gamma therefore the final equation is sin f1 divided by sin alpha is equal to f2 divided by sin beta is equal to f3 divided by sin gamma so hence the Lamis theorem is proved so in a single step you can uh, prove this Lamis theorem okay and for the point of your examination uh, this Lamis theorem uh, is important topic okay so to this statement and proof of Lamis theorem is over thank you